I will be just explaining the accounts payable for the purpose of this presentation, uh, but they work exactly in the same way, just reverse. If we go in accounts payable, we get a list of the accounts payable by supplier, invoice number, invoice date. If we go into the accounts receivable, is a list of all the accounts receivable, basically from client, invoice date, invoice number. So to process an accounts payable is a simple matter of opening the module. In this summary list we view the document date, document number, supplier, the invoice total, the outstanding, which is the sum of all the scheduled payments that should have been paid by today's date, the amount that we are scheduling to pay within this session and the balance, the overall balance due uh, for that document. So let's say that we want to pay our supplier Paolo Cattaneo, uh, analyzing his free open account at the moment, uh, accounts payable. These two are both outstanding, this one here isn't, so we, it, we're still within the term. Let's say that we want to pay for the outstanding amount, the two outstanding ones. It would be a simple matter of highlighting them and then pressing the green tick, the dollar sign, to pay. In what date we want to pay, today's date, what account. If we leave this field empty, it will process the payment in the scheduled account and for this amount if we leave this empty it will use basically the default outstanding amount to be paid which is what I'm going to do now leave them empty in today's date green tick now they have been scheduled to be paid I can double check what the total value of what I'm paying is as against the total balance and if I'm happy I can then basically go to posting and process this payment. After having scheduled the payment, if we want to remove the payment, we can simply highlight the record that we want to remove the payment for and just hit the dollar sign. Based on the date of the payment, it will remove of the selected records all the payment processed or scheduled on that date. Green tick, that's been removed. If we go back into the accounts payable now, we see that the only one scheduled to be paid for $15 today is this document here. We can also reschedule the date of payment of one account by simply double clicking, entering and changing the due date from the 14th of the second to the 14th of the fourth, for example, or upon saving and exiting. That record is now not anymore outstanding. It would become outstanding from the 14th of April.